you're in the market for a versatile, or hey, even a simple phone case, varying colors and materials, Bellroy, as always, has you covered with their full lineup of iPhone 16 cases. So what I wanted to do today is kind of do a quick run through and breakdown of said cases. So if you were in the market, you can see which one would work best for you. And I honestly think there's one clear winner here. And I probably think you're going to feel the same by the end of this video. So let's get into it. We're going to kick this one off with the Venture phone case. I'm going to review this almost as a standalone because as you're going to see, I'm reviewing the other cases almost as a trio because this is the only Bellroy case for the 16 that is not made out of leather. This is a polymer flex material, really robust feeling. And I do, if I had to take a guess, I would say this is going to offer you the most shock protection and drop protection versus all four of the Bellroy cases. A few little other features on this phone case, aside from the materials here that make it different, is also an anodized aluminum button. Uh, as you're going to see here, it is a little bit textured, gives you a little bit of friction here on your finger for the power button, but they are anodized aluminum buttons. You're still getting this nice felt lined, you know, polyester recycled material to keep your phone from scratching Bellroy Owl at the center here, as well as MagSafe capabilities. So if you have a car mount or a MagSafe battery or any other third party accessories, you still get full access with this case. Now, what is it that really, aside from the materials, and no, maybe don't take me for my word for it, but it just it just feels that way. It just feels more robust, added protection for the phone. What is the Venture offering that the others don't? Well, it is this lanyard feature, as you're gonna see here, nice little Bellroy Owl, an adjustable lanyard that is attached by this stainless steel insert here. If you really wanted to, I think you could probably take this off. I haven't done it yet, but it does look like it's possible for you to fish that through and pull it off. But that is what you're getting with this. You are getting a nice braided cord here. Fairly strong, not super thick, but you know, it's got some flex to it. Doesn't feel cheap at all. A nice adjustable lanyard. If you want to put that on your wrist, keep it on you so you're not gonna drop your phone. This is what you are getting if you so choose to get the Venture phone case. And as I mentioned, I do feel confident this is probably gonna offer you the most drop and shock protection. But just so you can get a look at the device in the case itself, you're gonna get some nice raised barriers around that camera enclosure. So you're gonna have no issue with having to worry about if you put your phone camera down on a surface that it's gonna to touch. You're gonna to have nice protection, nice barrier between the device and the surface itself. No problems there, you're not gonna have anything. It's very slight, but you can see you're not gonna have any issues with the camera touching anything in terms of surface. A nice chin and uh, top and side barrier to keep it just ever so minimally raised. Uh, so if you do wanna put the phone face down, you're not gonna have any issues. A little bit of a gap in between surfaces and the device itself. And it does look like you're gonna have no problem putting a tempered glass screen protector on it. So there you have it. The Venture case with, with the iPhone 16 inside of it. Uh, let me know what you think. Now, if you're in the market for one of the leather branded cases, whichever of the three you wanna buy, you are going to be getting that Bellroy Gold rated leather wrapped around, I would say 95% of either case. I'll kind of get into that in a second, but a really nice high grain leather that's gonna patina very nicely. If you've ever owned any Bellroy products prior, wallets or phone cases, you'll know that they hold up really well for the most part. Um, so you're getting a nice, quality leather on any of these cases. So what I was mentioning with that kind of 95% wrap, on the head and chin of these devices, as you're gonna see here, you have kind of this plastic polycarbonate, and that's gonna be on whichever one you get. It is this kind of like rubbery plastic material just around the edges and then the top and then the chin of the device. So just know it's not a full leather it's like i said like 95 percent all very similar in terms of their construction ergonomics 
and design regardless of which one you go with. And as you're gonna see here, kind of, you know, in terms of the thickness of them, even the dedicated phone case with the wallet built in isn't that much thicker than just your regular leather phone case. All really well designed. And yeah, I think you'll be happy in terms of the materials used whichever way you go. On the interior of these phone cases, you're gonna have this little felt or polyester line material. Nice and soft, feels really good, seems really high quality. That's what I would expect from Bell where you're not gonna be getting anything super cheap, but it's gonna keep your phone nice from getting scuffed or scratched up each phone with that little Bellroy stamp. So very similar experience in terms of the materials used, the design, the ergonomics, even the thickness, surprisingly, you know, you would think that this one might add a lot of bulk, but you're not even really getting that much thicker of a phone case. The mod with the added mod on the back, it doesn't add that much bulk, which I'm really happy to see. Obviously it's gonna add a little bit and I'll show a little bit more of the thickness of this later in the video, but you're really getting a nice streamlined experience regardless of whichever case you get. Same type of buttons. They're cold to the touch, so it looks like it is a metal button, um, probably just maybe coated in that metal, but same buttons on each, same placement, same cutouts, and uh, yeah, really, really streamlined feel. I think everybody's gonna be really happy in terms of the build quality of either one of these cases, regardless of which one you go with. So let's get into the dedicated wallet phone case. Fairly straightforward in terms of what this is. One key takeaway that I must stress is if you do go with this one, you're gonna notice it is lacking the MagSafe. So if you do get this one, you are not gonna be getting that MagSafe capability. I think, you know, maybe to offset that, they added, you know, if you go back to previous generations of this case, they had a SIM card ejector tool insert there. You could put one in there and then also the SIM tray. This one just has the SIM card tray, but they did add that. If that is something that would benefit you, I don't think it would benefit the majority of the population. I think most people would probably prefer to have the MagSafe. But you do get the added benefit of having a slot to throw an extra SIM card in this if need be. But the king of the show here is this dedicated slot to add three cards. Has that very same felt or polyester material on the inside of the case here, a magnetic enclosure. Be aware though, only three cards, you're not gonna be able to squeeze any more than three, unfortunately. And if it doesn't have um, a card in there, there is a little bit of you know that hollow space, so it will push down. Not a huge deal for me, but I just want to make that clear. It does, you know, have a little bit of a hollow feeling if you don't have cards put in there. It makes life a little easier. And if you're traveling on the road, you need an extra SIM card, there is the capability of having that in the phone case itself as well. So let's take a look at the device inside of the case itself. Just like the first one in the review, you're gonna have minimal raised edges on that front. So if you put the phone face down, you're not gonna have any issues with it hitting the surface. Very minor, but it is raised up. And same around that rear camera enclosure. Nice little barrier, nice little edging around that to raise it up off of a surface. No issues putting it camera down either on a surface, having that camera get scuffed up. It's very minimal, but just enough to you know keep that protection there. And all of these devices have that cut out for the camera button. But there you go, a quick little look at the iPhone 16 Pro, I should say, inside of the phone case. Now just your regular iPhone 16 case. This one is just gonna be your regular MagSafe capable Bellroy iPhone 16 case. Really nice in the hand, nothing to write home about in terms of any added benefits. There's no tricks on the inside, just your basic phone case. You can throw on your MagSafe, you can throw on any third party accessories if need be, but yeah, it's just literally your basic phone case. Not much to say about it. I do have the Apple brand version. This one is not a leather one, but just to show you, you know, to give you something, a little difference here, is that with the Balroy ones, none of them have a dedicated button for that little camera. It is a button, I don't know what Apple calls it, but that haptic feedback thing when you're zooming in. This is the Apple branded one. It has like a dedicated spot for that. These ones do not have it. I found no problem without having it. Didn't hinder me at all the way that it's kind of designed and machined, very easy access. It's recessed so your finger could go in there. You're gonna have no problems accessing it once the phone's in the cases, which I'll show later on in the video. But yeah, 
just bare bones basic this is going to be your Bellroy iphone 16 case quick look at the iphone 16 pro inside just your basic leather Bellroy phone case goes in fairly you know streamlined i had some issues once in a while but for the most part goes in nice and smooth a little bit maybe arguably more raised edges on this one just a tiny bit ever so slight still very minimal keep your phone from hitting those surfaces and again no problem getting a tempered screen protector on there a little bit more of a pronounced edging around the camera enclosure to keep that nice and protected and away from surfaces if you do put it you know camera down that button, that action button for the camera, you're gonna have no issue uh, accessing it or using it. But yeah, pretty basic. There it is, your iPhone 16 Pro in the regular Bellroy case. So what I feel probably is gonna be the most popular or sought after case by Bellroy is going to be the mod case simply because of the versatility and the fact that you have the added option of being able to, yes, have MagSafe and have just your regular if you wanna have that kind of day, or if you needed a little extra, but to still stay minimal, you have the added benefit of this card case card holder. How this works is it has MagSafe built in just like the case and a little rail system. As you're gonna see, there is a little raised, ignore the cat hair, <laughs> raised rail and a recessed divot at the bottom of this case. Line it up, it goes very easily because it's magnet, mag safe, and it fits in, no problem. Uh, in the old variations, there used to be like a two rail system, top and bottom, but I kind of feel like because it gets so close to the top camera enclosure here, it kind of acts as a little stop gap as well from going up, and then the rail at the bottom keeps it from going down with the mag safe in the center keeps it nice and sturdy. You're gonna have no problems with this moving. Um, if you really wanna push it off access, you can get it off. But again, I think it's put together really well. You're not gonna have any issues pulling it in and out of your pocket or your bag and this falling off. Same type of felt polyester lined on the back. So it's gonna keep it from scratching up and scuffing up, allowing that leather to patina very nicely. Very similar to the inside. Nothing special, no SIM trays or SIM ejector tools. Versatility is what you're getting with this one. Uh, three cards. Very similar to the card holder that I reviewed in other videos. I'll give you a little view here in terms of thickness anyway, what you're working with. I'm going to say it's a little shorter, as you can see, and probably a little less than one third as thick, simply because you are, you know, you're only getting three cards here. so maybe a portion, this portion of the card holder is what you're kind of seeing and that kind of matches up there. And uh, that kind of matches up there. But as you can see, just gives you a little extra for the day. Doesn't add a ton of bulk when it's on. Some Bellroy branding at the bottom. And again, I think this one's probably gonna be the most sought after one of the bunch. You know the drill. I'll let this one just play a little bit silently. Pretty much the same experience as the other cases. So what phone case is right for you? Honestly, if I was to recommend one of the leather specific Bellroy cases, I'm gonna have to go with the mod case or the wallet case plus. I think the fact that you're getting a dedicated, you know, little card holder with the case that allows you to have that on there in a nice, secure, sturdy fashion doesn't add a ton of bulk to the phone case itself and you can take it off and have the case just act as your you know regular standalone sleek phone case versatility is key for me always when you're spending your hard-earned money and i think if you're going to be doing that with one of these three cases this is probably the best value and the best versatility you're going to get materials build quality construction and ergonomics of everything is almost exactly the same between the three of them so if you're going to be spending that money you want to probably get some versatility with it and i think this one gives you that versatility you still get access to that mag safe you know when it comes to the the dedicated wallet case as much as i think this is nice i just think the fact that you lose mag safe takes away that versatility and even though they're giving you this little sim card tray slot in the phone case itself for the general population, I don't know how much that would benefit 
the majority of people. I know it will benefit some people, but I think overall, most people would rather have access to the MagSafe than a SIM card tray in the phone case itself. But on the other hand, that standalone venture case, if you're looking for something that's not leather, that's gonna offer you a more robust protection, I would go with that one. The lanyard for me isn't a huge selling point. I would prefer to have it taken off. But if you are somebody that wants to have that on there, it doesn't hinder the phone case at all and still have access to that MagSafe over just your regular Bellroy leather case. So I just think at the end of the day, I think Bellroy's mod phone case is the one to go with. As always, I'd love to hear what everybody thinks in the comments below, what you think was the best for you and your opinion. And as always, everybody, thanks so much for watching, supporting. Be safe and well out there. And until the next one, later.